Hi there, this is Animation. Today we're gonna understand the screen modes once and for all. I know there's been a lot of confusion and we need to fix that, right? Because the screen mode is not just the F key. There's so much more to it that we need to understand before we start pulling our hair. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop and this is a simple black and white conversion and just for curiosity, let's have a look at the before and after. So this is the before. Okay, so this is the before and this is the after. All right, now let's talk about screen modes. Down here at the bottom, there's an icon. Just under the tools, there's an icon. And if you click on that icon, it says change screen mode if you hover over it. If you click on that icon, it changes the screen mode. It gives your image a full screen of just the document, not the complete full screen, but full screen of the document, the tabs go away. Now, if you want to move, you would have to press the space bar, hold the space bar and then move. Now, if you press that icon again, it will show a message. It says that in full screen mode, panels are hidden. So if you want to show the panels, you will press tab. Okay. And then if you want to bring back from the full screen to the normal, you would have to press F. We will talk about that later. Don't worry about it. Okay. So full screen, it's completely full screen now. Okay. So you can just move around, you can do whatever you like, and then press F to bring everything back to normal. Now this might seem a little complex with all the panels and stuff. Let's talk about this. All we need to remember are three things. And the third thing is really exciting. Three things. Number one, the F key. Now, what is the F key for? F key is for changing the screen mode. Okay, just remember that. F key for changing the screen mode. The second thing that we need to remember is the tab key. The tab key is for hiding and showing all the tabs. Even right now, you can press the tab key, it hides all the tabs. Press the tab key again, it shows everything back in. So tab key hides stuff, hides all the controls and stuff. If you press tab key again, it shows them back. So the number one thing was the F key. The second thing was the tab key, remember that. Number three is very interesting. It's a shortcut and the shortcut is control and the tilde key or whatever you call it, the back quote key or the key next, right next to the one numerical button. So I'll just show it in screen right now. Control and the back quote key. If you press that, it cycles between documents and that is important because when you're in full screen, the tabs don't show up. So for example, I open up something else. So I open up an image. Let's open up any image. It doesn't really matter which one. Okay, so here we have one more image. Okay, now we are in the full screen mode and we don't see any tabs. We have to use the shortcut, control, and the back quote key to move, okay? So three things to remember. Let's move back to normal, okay. F, tab key, and the shortcut, control, and back quote. So F, to change the screen modes, and whichever screen mode you're in, you can press the tab key to bring back all the controls. Even if it's a complete full screen mode, you can press the tab key to bring everything back, okay? Even in full screen mode, if you want to move to other document, if you want to show other document, remember the shortcut, control, and the back quote key to switch between these two documents. So control and the back quote key to move forward, control, shift, and back quote to move backward. So if you had three documents, let me just demonstrate this for you. So if I just move back to the original, I, Okay, so let's open up one more. I hope something is in the desktop. Let's open this one up. Okay, so if you are in the full screen or even if you are not in the full screen, if you press the shortcut, control, back quote, it moves forward. So I moved forward and I wanna move back. So what do I do? I would press control, shift, back quote. Okay, control, back quote and control, shift, back quote. For Mac, that would be command, back quote and command, shift, back quote. Just replace control with command and you're good to go. So remember that. F, the tab key, and control or command back quote. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you clear your confusion and if it did, make sure to give us a like and also do not forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss a thing. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.